What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, we did none other than um, we beat the we beat the fifth sanctuary boss. However, it was kind of a pain in the ass, and Pooh unfortunately did not get the XP. Now that we're out of this area, though, like I said in the last part, you want to get these items on the way back rather than uh before uh, rather than right before the boss. You'll see why in a second. Hold on, can I instant kill him? Yeah, I can. Who's number 28? I'll pay you the video. I'll pay you by five. I'll pay you by three. Gus went by one. By time went by one. Next went by one. Luck went by one. Next went by 15. Next went by four. We see there's a broken bazooka, and we're going to give that to Jeff. I. And, uh, I would say this is going to be, uh, Actually, can we even go this way? Oh, just a damn minute. I'm, I'm manipulating the enemy placement. I am so manipulating the enemy placement. Only the room wasn't so tight. Okay, we were able to squeeze by. We go in here. There's a magic flower. If only we knew about that earlier. If only I knew about that earlier. Anyway, so we have to go back and, uh... Okay, we can kind of squeeze by these enemies. We'll say Earthbound can be a challenging game if you go into certain areas unprepared. I am gonna load a. Uh, I'm gonna load a uh, map for the next area because uh, remember how I said that uh. Remember how I said that uh, we were gonna go to the uh, we were gonna go to the uh, desert in the next area? I was lying because um, I was lying. So um, basically, what we're gonna do instead is uh, go to the uh, area in Dalam. We're gonna make this two consecutive sanctuary bosses, which I don't I don't think I really see this in Earthbound playthroughs because, like I said. You can really do these next sections in any order, because, like, once you get the carrot key, you can remember to go straight to the next Sanctuary boss. So I figured we can tackle it. Plus, it'll give us an opportunity for some level ups. Yeah, I tried, like, three times to run away, and, like, I could not, and I got possessed also as soon as I get out of that place. So, um... Yeah, so, unfortunately, um... We cannot do... We're at a, we can now finally say goodbye to Foresight. Let's see what he says. I wonder how many animals grow seen for humans beings to discover them. Anyway, so um, we get out of here. I was feeling like um, yeah, I knew my Derek senses was tingling. taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for... Uh, okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready to say fuzzy <laughs> Wow, we read photograph. We'll draw with the fondness of memories. Anyway, I am going to load a map of the next area.
All right, sorry for the cup footage. I was just loading the map. So, um, we're going to go to Delon. We're going to make this two consecutive sanctuary bosses. One thing I did not really elaborate on before. Oh my god, two Derricks in one episode. Taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. I just say something's up. Okay, raise your memory. Look at my very sick fuzz. Oh, what a great photograph. It always makes me like, fond of some memories. Oh my god. I hope I never see the camera again. But I am going to play this game again a year later, so. I'd like to get a hand, my hands on a Super Nintendo cartridge, but they're 400. Oh my god! Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Oh, great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. If we uh, talk to Pooh's dad, we can basically it'll talk. It'll act as a healing point. We'll even get rid of status conditions. So um, yeah. Kind of the way you heal in Dalam. Anyway, so, um, one thing I do recommend doing at this point in the game. Hold on, let me, uh, check, let me check another, uh, Alright, we're good in terms of like 129. We haven't encountered any of those enemies there. I was just checking my guide, but they're not in this area. But uh, we give him the carrot key. And she's the carrot key. Now, there's one thing I'm gonna recommend doing. These are also new enemies. These enemies drop a ton of fucking XP at this point in the game. So, um, they will put you to sleep and use like lightning and all that, but since we have the Franklin badge, we should be fine. But, um,. They aren't weak to freeze and all that, but, um, yeah, they're gonna drop a lot of XP. Get up five levels. In fact, we're gonna give, uh, the, uh, Franklin badge from Jeff back to Paula, because I believe she'd be the most vulnerable to a lightning attack. And these new enemies... Anyway, these are the, uh, Thunder Mites. Now, uh, these guys, they will, uh, use- These are the ones that use Thunder Beta, so, um... They are weak to freeze, so, uh, be mindful of- Be good- Be mindful of that. These are the ones I'm thinking of that are weak to freeze. They are, and they do get poison. They do poison you, so, um, be careful of that, too. Beta on Jeff. Well, either way, we're gonna use healing beta on Jeff. Hope we can get a level up out of this. Jeff is now level 45. Max HP up by two. Max HP up by two. Who's now level 29? Max HP up by three. Max HP up by one. Anyway, so this is gonna be a level up montage. So uh, we will. I will see you guys momentarily. Until I will cut to every level up we get. So once we get into a battle. I will cut till every level up we get. Because you can just leave here and come back and just level up over and over again. What? Wait, these are new enemies. These are the Kiss of Death. They can poison you and uh, do a little... They can poison you and uh, basically do some fucked up shit to you. We use uh, Freeze Omega. They are weak to freeze though, just keep that in mind. That's all the enemies we've seen in this area, so uh, now we're going to cut to the level up montage after this. All is now level 41. Defense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Max HP up by 3. Max HP up by 2. 
He's now level 40. Oh, baby, I'll come by 3. He's now level by 1. Oh, baby, I can't by 4. I'll come by 2. Max, he's by 1. He's now level 31. Oh, baby, I'll come up by 3. Defense went by 2, Lockmark by 1, Max is by 3. Ness is now level 46, Offense went up by 1, Max is up by 2, Max is being went up by 1, Paul is now level 42, Speed went up by 1, Max is up by 1, Max PP went up by 1. Anyway, so I think that's about the level, level 4, in between level 45 and 50 is what... Who's now level 32? Oh baby, offense went by 4. Oh baby, defense went by 3. Spear went by 2. Guts went by 2. Vendetta went by 1. IQ went by 2. Max is being by 8. That rocks. Max is being went by 9. Anyway, with Ness in between level 45 and 50, that's what I recommend being at when you get into this area. It also helps in the next area too. You can do this area and then go into uh, Scarab in the, any order. It's just I prefer to do it in this order. We're just going to heal really quick, and I think and Genesis IQ did lay, raise a lot during the level up montage, so maybe that would be enough to um, get out of this area. We're just going to heal really quick. Anyway, so um, we're just going to gonna this is going to treat it like heal. Sorry, I just had to load the map because uh, we are going to need that. So, um, yeah, now we're able to get to, because we should get some more level up by fighting these enemies. Now, uh, there is one item I strongly recommend getting in the pink, the cave of the pink cloud. That's the name of this area. I strong, if there's any item I would not, because like, this also demonstrates what the limited amount of options Pooh can get equipped with. Okay, so this also demonstrates the limited amount of options that Pooh can get equipped with. Now, um... I think I didn't get back attacked. Anyway, so now we got that out of our system. More enemies, yay. Who's now level 33? Max HP over by 2, Max HP over by 2, Puraza Power, PSI Freeze, Omega. Now there's more enemies. Oh shit. Anyway, so there's a, this, uh, there's a Sudden Guts pill. Um, I want to make sure I'm going in the right area, so um... Am I going in the right area? Hold on a second. I'm not going in the right area. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Guts now level 41. Defense 1 by 1. Speed 1 by 1. Max HP by 2. Ball's now level 43. Offense 1 by 2. Speed 1 by 1. IQ 1 by 1. Max HP by 2. Max HP 1 by 2. Who's level 34. Offense 1 by 2. Oh baby. Defense 1 by 3. Speed 1 by 1. Max HP 1 by 1. Max HP went by 13, Max HP went by 1. Max is now level 47, offense went by 1, Vitaly went by 1, Luck went by 1, Max HP went by 11, Max HP went by 1. Alright, so how do we want to get out of this area? How do we want to get through this area? We want to go through the, uh, we want, in this floor, I made the mistake of going through the one on the right. That takes us back to the beginning. We want to go to the one on the far left. In order to get, in order to get the item we want, uh, this is the uh, this is the rock candy. But uh, in order to get the item we really want, we have to go through. No. Ooh. Oh, a new enemy! Flash beta. Fuck. 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 Okay. That's our first taste of flash beta. Now we're gonna use PSI Mario Beta. Now, uh. Wait, shoot, 
shoot the ones that no flash beta have no flash beta first, just for the luck. Okay, Pooza felt a little strange, so we can't do that quite yet. We're in a we're in a quite a bad fight. Think of that asshole defeated. All right, so uh, we're gonna use healing beta, and we're gonna use uh, PSI freeze Omega on the kiss of death. We're gonna defend. I did not mean to attack with Pooh, but thank God he didn't attack one of us. Jesus! We didn't even level up out of that. Alright, life up beta on Ness. Life up alpha on Paula. Life up alpha on Jeff. And life up beta on Pooh. That, that, that's a prime example when you get into a bad fight like, oh no. Okay, I didn't get back attacked. He's now level 35, offense one by two, defense one by one, left one by one, get my save two. Anyway, this item right here is what we, we want to get. This is the Bracer of Kings. Now, these are the only types of weapons that Pooh can equip. Now, if we go to Pooh's inventory, uh, we can, uh, not exactly, uh, we can equip the Bracer of Kings, raise the deal from 62 to 92. These are the only weapons, Pooh, like Jeff, is only good to pay out, is... The skill, the uh, levels, depending on what you equip them with. Okay, so we do have to make the long journey back, though. So, um, and now we're now back in that original spot. We could have gone down and just gotten the brace for our kings that way. What was I thinking? We got a lot of fucking editing in this video. Oh, I finally get to insta kill an enemy. We isn't enough to get a level up though. That's how that's how much we've raised ourselves in this area. Level 44, offense went by two, defense went by one, speed went by one, guns went by two, but time went by one, I can went by one. Oh baby, luck went by three, my max HP went by nine, max HP went by five. How we get to the boss is that we go the same route we did before, so we don't go to the route we get the uh, Bracer of Kings. Absolutely need this. Okay, I didn't get back attacked. That was a pretty bad fight with Paula, but uh, for Paula, but um, Jeff's now level forty-two. If I tell him about my maximum, he's up by ten. Who's now level 36? Oh, baby. Offense went by 6. Oh, baby. Defense went by 4. Speed went by 2. Right down by 1. I came up by 1. Max HP went by 13. Max HP went by 2. And we realized the power of healing Omega, which is one of the best moves in the game because it can revive dead party members. It doesn't always work, but it can revive them. And, uh, battle time. This is now level 48. Oh, baby. I hunt one by five. Speed went by one. Oh, baby. Guts went by three. I kill by two. Luck went by two. Max speed went by one. Max PP went by six. I'm going to use another uh, healing bear. It's, it's also nice to bring refreshing herbs in this area. I didn't think of that before. But anyway, this is the Sanctuary boss. Finally got here. It's the six year Sanctuary location. It's mine now. Take me if you dare. In the Thunder and Storm. Now, this is another reason I recommended giving the pa Franklin badge to Paula. And, uh, to be honest, just spam your PSI moves. Just spam Freeze Omega. And, like, if you have Bottle Rockets, which we unfortunately don't, we're gonna have. You can use those too. But, uh. But Paula, sh it shouldn't be a worry because she's protected from, uh. What am I trying to say? She's protected from Thunder Attacks. It also plays different music. So yeah, Jeff is definitely our weak team. Let's just put him in defense now so the text can go by faster. The last PSI Omega we can uh, forward poo.
There's a lot I'm looking for a Paula, too. This is gonna make it solidify again. Oh, big game 10. That was an easy boss compared to the last one. Oh, is now level 45. Max is me up by 1. Max is me up by 2. Jeff is now level 43. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Got one up by one. Max is up by two. Pooh's now level 37. Max is up by two. Pooh's now level 38. Offense went up by one. Oh, baby. Defense went up by three. Max is up by three. Max is up by two. Now, it's great to tackle six, two consecutive year sanctuaries in one video, so. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Ness sounds so recording the melody of the pink cloud. Now that's all we can really do it for this part of Earthbound. Now we are protected from these enemies because we have the Sanctuary boss, so uh... But we can kind of rush away out of there. Unfortunately we don't have any exit mice or anything like that. Anything that would make getting out of here easier. But yeah, we did get up a lot of levels. So we are going to have a significant advantage in the next part of the game. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so. Next time on Earthbound, um, we're gonna go towards, um, we're gonna go towards, we're gonna go back to Summers, and we're gonna go towards the, um, the Scrub Desert. See you guys then.